This season had several surprising moments for fans of our beloved Dolphins, and with this information that I have now received directly from Miami, you will be surprised when I tell you, check it out. We've got some inside scoop on the remaining teams in the conference championship race, and let me tell you, it's got Miami connections written all over it. First up, let's talk about our former interim head coach, Dan Campbell, now leading the charge for the Detroit Lions. Back in 2015, he took over the reins for the Dolphins, injecting a level of intensity that was hard to ignore. We all remember those moments, right? Now, as head honcho in Detroit, Campbell's intensity is his trademark, and we can't help but wonder, could he have been the one to lead our Dolphins to glory? Well, we'll never know, but the Lions are surely thanking their lucky stars that we went with Adam Gase instead. Next on the list is the Tyreek Hill trade. Yeah, he was the MVP for us in his early seasons, and we hate to see him tearing it up for the Chiefs, but let's look at the silver lining. That trade gave Kansas City the financial freedom to snag some serious talent. Rassie Rice, Sky Moore, and Trent McDuffie, those names might not ring a bell, but for the Chiefs, they're making waves. And let's not forget, it helped them keep their defensive ace, Chris Jones. Of course, having Patrick Mahomes helps, but hey, business is business. Now, onto the Lamar Jackson what could have been saga. Sure, we were committed to Tua, but back in 2018, when Jackson was on the table, we opted for Minka Fitzpatrick. Now, Fitzpatrick is undoubtedly a baller, but a stellar quarterback beats a great defensive back any day. Jackson, the last pick in the first round, is now looking like an MVP contender for the second time. The Ravens are knocking on the Super Bowl's door, and we're left wondering if we dropped the ball on this one. Lastly, the 49ers draft a trade fallout. This one's a bit indirect, but stick with me. The 49ers moved up to pick Trey Lance, and we gladly accepted two extra first-round picks. Fast forward, and Lance is sitting third on the Cowboys' depth chart. Lucky for the 49ers, they found Brock Purdy later, but here's the kicker. We turned those picks into Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, and Bradley Chubb. Not bad, right? We might not have a playoff win yet, but those moves are building a foundation for something special. So, Dolphins faithful, while we might not be on the field this Sunday, our influence is all over the conference championship games. The decisions we made, the trades we orchestrated, they're shaping the landscape of the NFL postseason. Here's to hoping our next moves bring the championship vibe back to Miami. Fins up!